Time now for your storm tracker weather with meteorologist Curtis Grevenance. All right, welcome back everybody. Good Friday evening to you all. Happy December. Happy beginning of meteorological winter. Again, meteorologists uh, use December, January and February as the winter months. And if you think about it, uh, really winter is still three weeks away technically and we're looking at uh, autumn still technically on the calendar, but a quiet evening here in the capital. Pretty nice day, a mix of clouds and sun, not too bad. And uh, we've got a pool in Great Falls. I don't know if it's uh, necessarily the best swimming weather. 39 degrees, southwest wind at about 32 miles per hour. So feels a bit chilly with a wind chill of about 30 degrees around the state right now. Not too terribly cold. So Jordan down below the freezing point, Glen dive at the freezing point, but a temperatures once again a few degrees above average will be above average for Saturday, but then Sunday the storm comes in and the temperatures will drop to near or slightly below average. Nothing really on the radar just yet looking off toward the Pacific Northwest out around Seattle. This is the leading edge of the storm and the rain and the higher elevation snow that is moving through Washington right now that will be coming into Montana tomorrow. Right now, no watches, warnings or advisories at the moment, but I think that may change. We're going to have some snow coming through the state and it may accumulate several inches and it will impact traveling on Sunday. Winter weather advisory for the Cascades and a winter storm watch for parts of Wyoming. Again, very quiet weather here across the lower 48. A couple of showers down there uh, near the Gulf of California. California, but uh, this is the calm before the storm comes in. I want to take you to the other side of the world here. We don't really do this very much, but perhaps you uh, may have heard about a volcano that is uh, has been erupting in Bali here. This is Mount Agung, and this is pretty big. The last time this erupted back in the 60s, 1600 people died, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when this volcano will go off, and uh, this will likely impact travel around the area and volcanoes can have global implications in the weather uh, depending on how much ash and debris it spews up into the atmosphere. So we're watching all the way around the world for you. Back home here to Montana, here comes the storm moving into the Pacific Northwest tonight. Maybe a little snow in the higher elevations west of the Continental Divide, but clouding up on Saturday and snow will move in Saturday evening and then really expand across the state here Saturday night into Sunday morning and Sunday areas of snow moving through the state that will continue all the way into Monday morning. How much snow? Not much until about eight o'clock. That's when the snow will begin to accumulate here along the divide just west of the capital by Sunday morning, a little more accumulation around the state here and then by Sunday evening with snow still coming down we're looking at a few inches up along the high line couple inches around Great Falls down through Helena and the mountains where you see that pink talking six to as much as 12 inches of snow. Here's the forecast for tonight. So no snow tonight. It's quiet. Lows will be down into the 20s and the 30s. The skies a little more clear in the northeast part of the state, right near the freezing point, central Montana and around the capital. Some increasing high cloud cover ahead of our approaching storm. Here's the forecast for Saturday. Saturday is the day you could get outside and travel around without much uh, issue from snow just yet. Increasing clouds. Temperature still above average here into the 40s to almost near 50 degrees in a few locations, but snow will be moving in after dark around the capital. Here is the seven day forecast and there you can see the uh, temperatures going through the 40s down into the 30s by Sunday. We'll have that snow coming through on and off at times on Sunday. And if you are planning on traveling Sunday, leave yourself a little extra time. Some snow continuing Monday uh, morning as well. And then next week, high pressure moves in and that will set the valleys of western Montana, including the Helena Valley, up for inversion. So we're going to start trapping uh, some of that colder air and maybe also some pollution. May notice some haze by the end of the week. And for the Electric City, late tomorrow evening, that snow begins. It's a snowy Sunday into Monday morning. But the high pressure will produce more downsloping winds mm -hmm. in Great Falls and Chinooking with temperatures in the 40s near 50 late next week. Thank you, sir.